What are the five most essential hand tools that you need to have as an electrician? Let's break into it. What's going on my friends? I am Dustin Stelzer with Electrician U. So today I uh, wanted to cover some of the hand tools that you need to have once you start an apprenticeship. There's gonna be tons. There's going to be tons and tons and tons of tools that you're gonna buy over the years. Electricians just use more tools in general than any other trade. And we always have all these weird pieces of equipment and weird scenarios depending on if we're in new construction or if we're in a remodel or we're out doing troubleshooting in a service environment, whether you're an industrial or residential or commercial, there's all kinds of different things that we run across. So we have tons of different tools that we deal with, but the tried and true basics of what you need to buy when you go into your apprenticeship are going to be the following. Now, before we begin, I wanna tell you guys about the Milwaukee Grid program. Milwaukee sponsored this, so thank you so much, Milwaukee Tools, for sending all of these different hand tools to me. Um, the Grid program is really cool. It's actually a apprentice a support program really. So once you get into an electrical pr apprenticeship, uh, Milwaukee Grid is a program that you can go to their website, sign up for the Grid program. And then once you log in, there's a whole bunch of different resources, multiple different trades, there's videos, uh, things about tools, there's all kinds of really cool stuff in there. Some of the videos I've made. <laughs> Uh, but if you're interested at all, you're a brand new apprentice and you want to learn a little bit more about your craft and have some resources, there's a link in the description below. First thing we're going to start off with is what we call lineman's pliers. Some people just call these uh, lineman's, uh, but they are a certain kind of pliers. They're not just like regular pliers. You notice how big they are. There's uh, a lot of surface area at the front. They're heavier on the front and these are considered high leverage. So high leverage usually means that there is a longer handle. That way when you are cutting down on something, you have a longer handle that you can use to get leverage when you're cutting through wire or um, any kind of metal fencing, <laughs> anything that you might use these on. These specifically are really nice because they have this extra crimping tool on the inside and they've got this little bit of, I call it the bite of the tool, but if you're pulling wire, a lot of times you'll need to grab onto something and use the tool to pull with, so you can almost use this for leverage. Um, but then just twisting joints together, right? We have conductors, we put together conductors, we twist them together, put a wire knot on them. This is probably the most used electrician tool out there. Next up, we are gonna talk about the needle nose pliers. So electricians use needle nose all the time. So uh, these, this specific model um, is a little bit smaller, which is why I really like it. There's some different uh, needle nose that have like longer tips, some that have shorter tips, some that are really fine and small for getting into tiny little places. Um, but your general size is going to be the same as all the rest of these tools. It just has a very fine tip to it. So it allows you to get into things and grab uh, little things that you need to inside of boxes. Sometimes you're working with a whole bunch of conductors and you can't get your fingers into something to pull it out. So you can grab needle nose to get inside of something and start kind of yanking on it and just get a little bit of extra leverage. They have a cutting edge as well. So you can cut conductors, although it's not going to be as large of a cutting edge as the lineman's pliers were. But needle nose are really, really good for just fine kind of delicate work where you need to get in somewhere where your fingers just won't do the job. Next up is a pair of diagonal cutting pliers. So uh, these, usually you're gonna be cutting wire with these. They have a very similar surface area to the cutting edge. Actually, these are a little bit longer than the lineman's pliers. So it allows you to cut things with it. A lot of times you're gonna be pulling these out to cut conductors, cut wires constantly. The cool thing about most electricians tools is that we have multiple uses in the same tool. So kind of, you can grab things out of your tool pouch and for the most part, you can use multiple tools for a job at hand, but there's some situations where you need something a little bit more pointy. So you might use these, you might need something that you can kind of pry a little bit with, so you might use these. So not only do we use diagonal cutting pliers just to cut things, sometimes we'll use it to grab onto say a staple or a nail or something and you can grab it and use the tool to pry against to actually pull something out of wood. So these are really, really versatile to have. They're really great tools. Um, you're gonna use the crap out of them. Next up, you'll see that I have two different pairs of these, but you're gonna need a pair of wire strippers. Uh, wire strippers, we use 
uh, all the time, all day, every day. We're pulling insulation off of the conductors. Uh, we're probably twisting a hook on one end. And uh, some of these will even come with a bolt threading option. So there are times where if you're putting a device on like a stone backsplash or something like that, and you try to put screws in, they actually push the plate out a little bit. So you need to cut down the screws a little bit in certain situations so that the plate will sit flush onto a box. So there's these nice little threading holes inside of here. They have 832 threads, uh, which is an, an eight gauge uh, machine screw or bolt. Um, and then there's 32 threads per inch, which is the most common that's gonna be used in electrical for everything. So there's six 32s and eight 32s. Sixes are just a little bit smaller, uh, a little bit you know thinner type of bolt, and the eights are a little bit thicker gauge. Um, so the reason I got both of these up here is because they both offer a little bit different things. I mean, they're both gonna have a cutting edge on them, right? So like you could still cut wires uh, with the inside of these. They're both about the same uh, length of cutting surface. Um, they have the same gauges, except for this one also has an additional smaller gauge. So you're gonna probably have multiple different uh, pairs of strippers on you. Some you're gonna like just because they have a smaller handle. Some you're gonna want a little bit larger handle or a longer tool so you can get higher leverage. Um, some of them have multiple bolt threading options. So like this one has uh, 540s, 1024s, 440s, 1032s, 832s, 632s. So most people be like, well, why wouldn't you just use this to like cut through the bolt, you know, like why do you need a special tool? Well, because with these, they have one threaded side and they have a cutting edge. So you can thread in a screw, cut it, and then thread it back out and it straightens those threads back out so that the, uh, the screw will actually go into a nut or go into a threaded surface. If you were just to cut a bolt, you're gonna have a heck of a time trying to get that screw to go back into anything because you mucked up the threads all the way at the end. The other cool thing that this one has is there's a bunch of different crimping options depending on if you're doing insulated, non-insulated. Um, there's a, a few different kinds of crimps that we would put to connect two wires together. Um, so there's multiple different options for crimping with this one as well. So that's why I would have two of these. I probably have 10. I've got every kind of brand you could think of. I've got some that have really itty bitty wires that they'll strip, some that have really thick wires that they'll strip. So I keep multiple pairs with me um, because I'll need certain things for certain jobs. Then the last thing that we're going to talk about is what I call an electrician's tool. These are specifically tools made for electricians that are multi-purpose. Some people will call them a multi-tool or a multi-use tool. But this one essentially just looks like a wire stripper, right? very similar kind of thing, but it also kind of looks like a needle nose. So it gives you the best of both worlds. It allows you to have a needle nose that can be used as a needle nose and get into really fine areas, but it has a whole bunch of stripping options on it as well, and it has some large stripping options. So this one will do number eight solid, where the rest of these are only gonna do number 10 solid. So it gives you one size larger for conductors that you can strip out of. Still has the threading bolt cutting option, still has a cutting surface just like uh, the linemen's or all of these tools have, but it's a multiple use tool. So you can't really call this a needle nose. You can't call it a stripper because um, it's, it's all of it. It's all of it mixed into one. There's another version of this tool, which is right here. Notice it looks pretty similar. This is a high leverage version, so it's got longer handles, so you can bite down and really cut through things that are thick or you know a little bit more dense material. They both have the uh, bolt threading and cutting feature. They both have a cutting edge, although this one has a lot more surface area for cutting because again, the high leverage uh, handles are designed to cut larger, thicker things. Um, same stripping options. This one goes all the way from number eight to number 18 on solid number 10 to number 20 on stranded, they both do that. They're both kind of needle nose-ish, except this one has the added flat end of a lineman's players. So you can see the tip of them, if you're wanting to grab onto some, uh, the ends of some conductors and twist them together, you can do that with this, whereas this kind of needle nose variation of the electrician's tool doesn't have that same versatility. So. The two of these combined can pretty much do everything that all of these can. So I'm a huge fan of trying to find tools that have multiple different uses, things that you, so you, you don't have to carry so many tools, you know, like why carry seven different handled screwdriver options when they make a multi screwdriver that has every single one of the options into one tool. So I'm just a big fan of that. If you don't want to have to get every single one of these, then I would at least get some variations that mix multiple of them together. So that is it. That's my tips for the five 
seven kind of <laughs> uh, options for uh, hand tools that you need to have as an apprentice and you need to know how to use really well because you're going to be using these things all day, every single day. Best can music and video. <laughs>